Welcome to another video. So, there are a lot of things that are making Anthropic just as bad as OpenAI, and I thought I should talk about them. So, first, Anthropic launched Claude Code with a Mac subscription, and they said that with the $200 plan, you'd get unlimited access. A lot of people liked that and started using it. Then, Anthropic came and rug pulled, saying that they were going to launch very vague rate limits, like 140 to 280 hours of Sonnet 4 and 15 to 35 hours of Opus 4. Which is good, but a rug pull is a rug pull nonetheless. Many people only used it because they could spin up a ton of instances and make it work. But now, even after paying $200, you'll need to keep checking your rate limits and be careful. Similarly, there are a ton of people talking about how the models have been heavily nerfed, and they get even more nerfed when more people are on it. They apparently run a quantized variant in order to serve more users, which makes Sonnet and Opus weaker. That's not expected behavior at all. It's really bad when that happens, because it keeps messing up your code and whatnot. But now, there's another thing, and that is the privacy aspect. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. now. Back to the video. In the privacy aspect, I used to keep Anthropic in a better place because it didn't used to log the responses and stuff. But now, they are also doing the same thing. So, they recently updated their privacy terms, and now they say they'll start training future models on chats and Claude code sessions from Free Pro and Max accounts if you enable a new Use My Data to improve Claude's setting. It only applies to new or resumed conversations. Old chats you never touch again aren't included, and you can toggle this anytime in privacy settings. If you're an existing user, they're rolling out an in-app modal, and you have until September 28, 2025, to accept the updated consumer terms and make your choice. After that, you must pick a setting to keep using Claude, they say this doesn't apply to Claude for Work, Team Enterprise, Claude Gov, Claude for Education, or any API usage, including Bedrock and Vertex. On paper, that sounds opt-in, but the bigger problem is the direction of travel and the new retention window. Because if you do allow training, Anthropic moves your retention from 30 days to 5 years for those new or resumed chats and any thumbs-up or thumbs-down feedback you submit. Five years. That's a massive expansion of the data surface for a coding tool people use on real projects. Sure, they say they filter or obfuscate sensitive data, and they don't sell data, but extended retention still increases your risk. As a developer, I don't want five years of my prompts and diffs sitting around just so a model can maybe write cleaner rejects. And here's the thing. The community's reaction mirrors exactly how I feel. I'm seeing devs say a five-year retention window is overkill. If you can't extract training value inside a sane window, you're just hoarding. Others who were ready to buy annual plans are now pausing because the privacy promise got weaker overnight. There's a clear sentiment that this is a symptom of the synthetic data hype cooling off. When the generated data well runs dry, 
you fall back to harvesting customer conversations. Some folks are even saying they'd only ever opt in on public repos, never private code. I agree. Opt-in should be task-scoped and repo-scoped, not a blanket. Keep my chats for half a decade. I also saw people saying they'll stop using the thumbs up or down because feedback gets swept into that same five-year bucket. That tells you trust is slipping. What also bugs me is the operational ambiguity that always creeps in. Model quality can swing under load, rate limits, feel like moving goalposts, and now the privacy posture depends on a modal you might click past while trying to get work done. Even though Anthropic says this only hits consumer plans and not API or enterprise, a lot of indie devs and small teams live on Pro or Max. Those are exactly the people who paste stack traces and partial code, high sensitivity content by default. Filter or obfuscate isn't a comfort blanket when it's your client's private schema or a unique algorithmic trick. Practically speaking, here's how I'm handling it. I'd recommend toggling the model training switch off in privacy settings. Also, try to keep any proprietary data completely out of consumer chats. If I need LLM help on that, I go API with my own storage and retention controls or keep it local. I'm avoiding the in-app feedback buttons on sensitive prompts, since feedback is now retained for five years when training is allowed. Bottom line is that this is a step backward for trust. The, we'll only use it if you allow us, framing sounds respectful. But pairing that with a five-year retention window on a coding assistant is a hard no from me. Between shifting rate limits, performance volatility, and now long-tail data retention, Claude is edging into the same territory I criticize in other vendors. As developers, we need tools that are predictable in capacity and disciplined with our data. If that's not the default, then the default answer is no. I know that many people would say that they are not taking your data and you can opt out, but just think. In the last month, we've had so many changes to the very base of Anthropic that it's making the integrity of Anthropic not as reliable. They are leaning towards getting more and more user data, rug-pulling the plans, and even nerfing models for the plan users. So, yeah, it seems like a bigger issue at large, and it will only get worse from here. I was seeing this stuff and thought I should talk about it as well. It's kind of getting worse with Anthropic, and I thought I should talk about this. Let me know what you guys think about this as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.